Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a info button over here on the dashboard, which will give out information about your visuals that you have created. So what I mean by that is let's click on this particular button that I have created. So this basically is giving you the information of the visuals that you have on your dashboard. Let's say you have used some abbreviations in your report or let's say you have done some calculations or let's say you want to explain certain things in your dashboard which is not very uh, clearly understandable by the new users. You can give out a lot of information over here. For example, here I'm talking about sales monthly trend I'm talking about this is the sales for the year of 2020 to 2022 and this is the sales for fiscal year this is the revenue etc so you can give out a lot of information to the users to the end users who are accessing the report or maybe who are people uh, these are the people who are coming in for the first time who do not understand what exactly is there on that particular dashboard and something like this an info button giving out details will help them understand the report without them having to reach out to you to ask questions. This makes it super helpful, especially for people who are coming in for the first time on Power BI. So this is what we will be learning today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I'll be doing is I'll start a PowerPoint over here and bring in the image which I had created on PowerPoint to create the background for our Power BI report. Now, if you don't know how to create the background for the Power BI report, there's another video that I have made on my channel. I request you to please check that out. I will leave a link to that video in the description as well. So I've bought in the picture uh, of the background which I had used in the Power BI report. So now let's start adding in the call out labels over here so i'll go to the insert tab over here and click on shapes and select one of the call out option that you want let me go ahead with this so i'm going to add a call out button something like this and i'll change the shape of this call out button over here and then let's go here to change the color of this to white you can choose whatever color that you want and then we can type in some values over here let's say sales this year whatever your uh, visual is talking about so you can mention that over here and likewise you can create multiple uh, call out uh, uh, buttons over here for example let's say this is your revenue revenue this year and then you can also mention the year over here okay and maybe you have some calculations which you want to let people know how you have calculated that particular um, uh, call field over there and you can say that this ca calculated value let's say sales divided by profit or something like that right you can you can you can mention any information that you want wherein the user has to know that what exactly is being displayed on that particular dashboard so you can create something like this so for the sake of this tutorial i have already created over here and this is how it looks so once this is created what you need to do is you need to delete the background which which we have added and leave it as like this and then select all of the visuals that we have created and then right click and group them together and then right click again over here and then click on save as picture so once you do that let's save this as picture 5 and save this let's go back to our power bi dashboard now so this is where all the magic happens now let's add in a shape over here select rectangle and fill this layer here with the entire report okay so once you've done that let's go back to our format field go to shape First thing is that we will change the color of this particular visual. So we will select something like this, the actual background color that we have in our report, which is this dark blue. So we'll select that. And then I'm gonna go here to style and change the transparency to about 30%. Okay, so I want the report to look something like this. So once I have done this, um, and then let's go here to view and click on selection, okay. So once I've done that, I'm going to change this layer name to transparent layer, transparent layer. And then let's go to the insert tab, click on image and bring in the image which we had imported, which is picture five. So a couple of changes over here. Let me go to the properties. Uh, so the first thing is I'm going to go here, click on the background and check the properties of my canvas here, which is 720 by 1280. Then select this image which we just imported and change the height of this to 720 and then the width is 1280. Okay, 
I am going to turn off the lock aspect ratio. And now once we have done this, let us increase the size of this particular visual. So over here, let us increase the size and let's fill in with the entire page over here. Okay. So once we've done that, you will see that it is now aligned properly. If you do, if you see it is not aligned properly somewhere, you see here it is not aligned properly. So I've just played around with the position of this particular uh, image over here. And now you can see that it is all aligned and it is clearly uh, mapped to all of the visuals that we have over here. And then I'm going to rename this image and call this as call out. Okay. So once we've done that, let's quickly hide these two images over here and go to our insert tab, click on buttons and let's click on this information over here and let's add this button over here to our uh, report and then change the size of this visual, bring it over here. Okay. And then go to style and under icon over here, change this to white. Okay. So once you've changed that to white, you can now uh, create a bookmark. Let's go to the view tab, click on bookmarks. Okay. So now what happens is when you click on this particular button, you want the transparent layer to be visible and you want the call out buttons to be visible, right? So I'm going to click on add over here and let's call this as uh, info select or info click. Okay. And what needs to happen over here? I want the buttons to be visible. Sorry, I want the call out to be visible and then I want my transparent layer as well. So this is how it needs to look when I click on this particular button and I'm going to hide the button as well because I don't need to see that button. So, but we also need to go back uh, when this particular visual is available. So I'm going to go here to the insert tab and change this first button here to info button. And then go to the insert tab, go to shapes, sorry, go to buttons and then click on back. Okay. So we will add the same thing again over here and decrease the size of this icon. Okay. Bring this over here and let's go to the style icon and then change this to white. Okay. So this needs to be visible. So this is our back button back button. So this needs to be visible. Okay. So then I'm going to come here, click on update again after I have added this. Okay. So now we've come across an issue here where I, when I try to click on this particular back button, it does not let me because of the uh, layer order, the transparent image is on the front, whereas the back button is behind. So we will have to bring in the back button on the front. So what we need to do is, and now I'm going to play with this back button over here and bring it just below this because this is going to be the first button. And now when I see over here, I'm able to select this particular button over here. And uh, now let's go back into our info click and then click on update. So this is what how it needs to appear when I click on that info button over there. Okay. Now let's create another bookmark and click on add and we're going to call this as back right back from info okay we might have many other uh, back buttons in our report so labeling this is very important so back from info so what we need to do is uh, i want the info button to disappear it, to appear i want the back button to disappear i want the call out to disappear and then i want my transparent layer to disappear so this is how it needs to be when i click on back Okay. So I'm going to come here now, click on update. Okay. So let's select and see what is happening. So when I click on info, click, I want these visuals to be, to appear. I want the back button. I want the call out button. I want the transparent layer as well. And then when I click on back button, I want to go back to the report exactly something like this. Okay. So now it's time for us to assign these particular bookmarks to the icons that we have created. So this is our info icon over here. So we'll go to the format tab under action. We'll turn this action on and then select type bookmark and our bookmark is info click. Okay. So when, when I click, I'm going to click control plus click over here. When I click on this, I want all of the call out buttons to be visible over here. My back button is also visible now. Okay. And now on the back button, I'm going to select this back button over here, go to actions select bookmark and then select back from info. Okay. When I control select this now, it's going to go back to my 
back to the report here okay now when i click on information over here i'm gonna get all the visuals over here and then when i click on back it's going to go back to my report over here so this is how you can create the simple call out button explaining the visuals that you have on your dashboard and it makes it super easy for people to understand especially they don't really have to reach out to you and ask you uh, hey how is this calculated or what is this information on bi or if you have used some abbreviations on the report which you want people to uh, to understand what it is you can simply click this button over here and explain to them what exactly you're trying to uh, showcase on your dashboard right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this video helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials